Hello friends, this video on alcohol, phenol and ether part 23 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. We'll see the next reaction called Cope reaction. Here we have this phenol, you have this carbon dioxide and you have sodium hydroxide, you get salicylic acid. This is what you get. So let's see the reaction here. So I have my phenol, I react with NOH first, I get ONA. This reaction we have seen, right? OH bond breaks. Correct. Now I react with CO2. What I get is And H plus, what I get is salicylic acid. I'll give you the reaction mechanism very shortly. See, sorry, here only you can write OH, COOH. This is what you get. Let's see the mechanism now. So let's see the mechanism. So, in this mechanism, what happens is this is my OH and when you react with NaOH, what you get is ONA, right? This is reaction we have seen, correct? So ONA is nothing but O minus, I can say, because it's O minus Na plus. So this will go for a rearrangement, actually. Rearrange. So what it will happen here is, if you see, this O minus, if I form a double this bond if I breaks I'll show you I'll show you once again actually let me show you correct so if I break this bond into plus and minus like this I'll get a double bond here correct so let me do that and this will be my negative charge and this there's obviously H here Correct. Now if I react this with CO2, CO2 what will happen is, since there is a negative charge, so what will happen is, it will go in this direction, it will get a positive charge, it will get a negative charge, right, and this positive negative form of bond. So what you get here is, in this reaction is something. C O minus double bond. Perfectly fine. So if you see this goes in this direction minus plus plus and minus combines to form a bond. Correct? But we broke the aromaticity. We want it back. So how, how can we get it back? So to get it back, what we can do is let's break this bond actually. So what we can do is we can kick this hydrogen out, right, we will get a negative charge here, H plus will go out and this negative charge here, I want a positive charge here, so I will make it in this, break this bond also, this bond, I get a positive charge here, I get a negative charge, correct. So with this if you see, what happened now is, with this positive negative can form a bond, this will become O minus. This H is gone anyway, and this I am left with O minus. Correct. So this H which was gone will now get in touch with this minus. Correct. And one more H plus H which was gone here will hit this. There will be two H actually. So with this, what you get is this becomes OH. This becomes COOH and this is my salicylic acid. Hope you understand the mechanism. This was O minus, it went for a rearrangement, and with that, I got a negative here. My carbon could easily attack, forms a bond, but again, I don't want to break my aromaticity. Again, reshuffle things to bring back 
my aromaticity in this i got 2 minus here in that my h plus attacks and then you get this reaction so the next is reamer team in reaction so let's see this reamer team in reaction what happens here is you take this phenol you react this with chloroform and NaOH and whatever output you get you acidify it and then you get this guy you get OH with CHO here in the ortho position and OH with CHO in para position correct hydroxybenzaldehyde let's see the mechanism here so the mechanism is first we have CHCl3 I have CHCl3 and this my OH minus attacks right this has more electrons attacks it pulls that hydrogen so what I am left with is this is minus H plus with the plus charge since there is a plus charge here I want to get rid of plus charge so it will be negative charge because it is OH minus so if you see the way it works is this OH minus will attack this carbon actually right and then it will pull this hydrogen so overall there is a negative charge induced in the system so this carbon will get a negative charge see this bond will break in this fashion in this fashion correct so if you see or you can say that this bond will break in this fashion and this OH will attack this hydrogen so it will be H plus and OH minus will form water and this bond will break and this carbon will get a negative charge hope you understand this bond will break this will get negative this will get positive this positive H plus and OH will form water and this carbon will left with negative charge now to get rid of negative charge I don't have any acid here any H plus to compensate this chlorine will say okay I'll go off this chlorine will go off so with that what you get is carbene this is a carbene right it's a chloroform carbon ion actually this is unstable this is also electron deficient it's very very unstable now let's see this reaction now I have my phenol here correct okay this is my phenol and first thing I do is I react with NOH I get O N A actually, and there is nothing but O minus. So let's form O minus. Correct. Now O minus, I, there's a and there's H here obviously H everywhere, but I'm just putting this H because I'm trying to have reaction here. So let's form a rearrangement of this. So what happens is this bond breaks in this fashion. This gets negative charge. This gets positive charge. Positive and negative forms a double bond. Right, it's negative charge, hydrogen, and this. Correct. And you see, this is the electron rich site. Correct. Now, what happens is this guy, carbene, this is electron division, right? This will attack. Correct. So, this is electron deficient. So what will happen here is we will get something like this. Wanted to form a bond, it formed bond. Good. This is H, this is C, Cl, Cl. Now if you see the aromaticity is broken anyway, right? So we want to retain back the this is negative charge here. Sorry, yeah. We want to retain back the aromatic aromaticity. Correct. So what we can do here is, if we ask this hydrogen to leave and join this carbon, anyway carbon if you see has one more bond left, correct. So let's first form a double bond here. So let's put a positive charge here to put a positive charge, let's move this electron in this direction, there is a negative charge, there is a positive charge, or it's going to form a bond. Correct bond. Aromaticity is back. This is O minus. 
this is H, there is C, Cl, Cl. Correct. Now, if you see this carbon has now one, two, five bond, it can't have, right? So, one has to go. So, this hydrogen will go and this carbon here. This hydrogen will go and will join this guy. Correct. So, this hydrogen bond will break now. And this will join this. So, with this, the aromaticity is still there in O minus, and you get C, Cl, Cl, and H. Correct. So, everything is maintained now. Till this point is clear. Now, what I am doing is we are adding OH minus here again. OH minus. This will replace this chlorine. So, what you get here is instead of chlorine, I get OH, OH and H. Now if you see in one carbon I have two OH group, definitely water will come out and double bond will be formed. You say minus H2, what you get is this guy. O minus COH. And on this you just add a H plus. It will take care of O minus and it will form something like this. OH and C O O H. Correct. And this is called sericeldehyde. Little complex reaction, but first thing is it will form unstable carbon, and then we will get a negative charge center here. Since electron rich center is electron division, there will be a reaction here. It will form something like this. Here also it has one vacant thing actually. 1, 2, 3, 4, now we can, and then this will form here, this will come here, you will get something like this. And then chlorine, you replace chlorine with OH, you get something like this, to move water you get this. And this is a small mistake here, see when this form bond, this forms a bond right, the negative charge has to go to carbon, not with hydrogen, correct? You see this bond getting formed, this negative charge is a lone pair of electron, so this will form a negative charge. Since this is a negative charge, this hydrogen will pop in, they want to form a positive charge, right? So hydrogen will come out of this and join this actually in the next reaction first. Okay, let me just cut this part. So let, let me first move hydrogen here. This will this bond will break, this bond will break. Correct, and then you will have a negative charge here, and this charge will go off. So, with this, what you get here is this. Let me draw it somewhere here. Okay, so let this be double bond only here C, H, C, L, C, L, and now this guy will get a negative charge because this bond broke plus and minus so now this guy will have a negative charge and now what will happen is this bond will move in this direction negative and positive will form this company correct back to our ability a small mistake here correct thank you Visit our website examfear.com to watch more and more quality education videos. You can also attempt free online tests that are there in our website. You can also get access to tons of free study materials and you can also find free tutors and mentors in this website. Thanks a lot for watching.